Yeah, just to introduce myself. My name is Evans. I'm from Africa, and I'm not going back. <laughs> Special. That's just my basic introduction. That's how I introduce to my, myself to everybody I meet. Actually, it's difficult. It's difficult to be a stand-up comedian now. You know, the world is very sad and people are going through a difficult time and it's just difficult for people to laugh. And maybe it's actually the time where comedians are needed more because people are just sad. Yeah, you look sad. <laughs> Are you, are you with her? No. Yeah, now that, that yeah. will be explained a lot. Look at what is happening in the Ukraine. It's, it's so sad. Like, I'm scared that this, this thing will just keep on going and it will be, you know, on our doorsteps tomorrow, you know. That's why you should really take good care of Keanu. <laughs> Reeves, because he's in the military, guys, so <laughs> we might need him, man. Don't leave Japan, please. <laughs> please, look at what is happening in Ukraine. <laughs> Civilians, no more people like this guy. <laughs> Being given a gun, go to war. We need some people who are experienced like him, man. <laughs> please, listen, when I when going to a club in Ropongi, I used to fucking hate guys from the military, man. <laughs> I hated them for years. Fuck those guys, man. Fucking hated them. But now, man, I see them, I kiss them, man. I love them, man. Keanu, please don't leave, man. Stay! Stay, please! I need to kiss him, man. Please, help this guy stay here. Japanese people. Task it in the side, please. Let this guy, we will do everything, anything, man. He's single, you women, please talk to this guy today. Before he leaves, talk to him, man. If you're broke, I'm African. I know how to set up a GoFundMe account. I'll set a GoFundMe account for you. And if you don't get any women, I'll set up a GoFuckMe account for you, man. I'm telling you, I don't want these people to leave, man. <laughs> so sad, man, so sad. Yeah, it's a sad world. My, you know, COVID and all this shit, man. True story, my brother died a month ago. Oh. Yeah. Fuck COVID, man. I mean, he died in a road accident, but still. <laughs> motherfuckers laughing at my brother's death. <laughs> but I think where, whatever he is, he's, he's happy that I'm talking and making some joke out of it, seriously speaking. He knows I'm a goofy guy and it's okay to laugh guys, you know. It's fine. As long as you're paying me after this motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, he used to be a, a, a religious guy. He used to listen to Christian hip hop. Oh. Christian hip hop? That's like drinking non-alcoholic beer. What a waste. You know, talk about Jesus is my nigga. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, get that bullshit. Oh, <laughs> I have six jackets back there, I'm telling you. Uh, yes. Because I came to Japan during the summer, you know. Yeah, uh, and it was just like, you know, beautiful, nice sun everywhere, you know. Just like Kenya or Indonesia. Happy people, man. Sunshine everywhere, you know. And I used to go to work, and after work, every day before going home, everyone used to say, ah, Oscar is summer days, and they go home. So I thought, Oscar is summer. Oh. It's a summer greeting. <laughs> <laughs> Oscar is summer, okay. It's summer, Oscar is summer. So in winter, I was like, Oscar is winter. <laughs> Oscar Spring. <laughs> That's how I lost my job. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah, I've been in Japan for a long time, around seven, eight years. Illegally, but that's beside the point. We are not talking about that tonight, no? I came as a student, and when I tell people this, they don't believe. I don't know why. I came to study liberal arts and theology in Japan. Oh. Yes. I came to study 
liberal arts and theology in Japan. <laughs> People don't believe this shit. Like, how can you come to Japan to study theology? <laughs> <laughs> Christianity in Japan is less than 1%, guys. <laughs> Coming to Japan to study liberal arts and theology is like going to rehab in Jamaica. <laughs> Or going to a weight loss program in America. You know? <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm an English teacher, man. <laughs> Why is that funny? <laughs> That's the end of that joke, guys. <laughs> the end of that joke. Yeah, I live in Chiba. I live out in Chiba, and you know, I always feel good to come out here and do shows because. Where I live is like the farthest part of Chiba. Like, there are no foreigners there. Actually, there are no black people in Chiba, man. There are no black people. The other day I was going jogging in the morning. I mean, I'm Kenyan, that's what I do for fun. <laughs> and across the road I saw a black person, man. I was shocked, man, you know. A black person in my neighborhood? That was very shocking, you know. But as a brother, I did what I'm supposed to do, you know. I crossed the road towards him, and I called the police, guys. <laughs> it's okay, guys. If it will make you feel any better, they arrested both of us, man. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. Have a good night. Well, we will be the first for Eva. And please subscribe to his YouTube channel. Uh, you